In this video, I'm going to show you how to add table of contents in WordPress. And this is what we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. Table of contents will help your readers to navigate to certain sections of your blog post. So if I click on, so if I click on event planning, it will quickly take me to the event planning section of my blog post. Table of contents will also help to increase the SEO score of your blog post. So, if you want to add table of contents to your blog post, then this video is for you. Keep watching. Hello guys, this is Sadiq here at Tickle Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So, if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. To add table of contents in WordPress, this is the blog post we are going to demonstrate with. As you can see, at the moment, we don't have any table of contents in here. So first of all, let's edit the post. On this website, I'm using Rank Map as my SEO tool. So I have Rank Map right here. And currently, my score is 81 over 100. If I click on it and scroll down to Content Readability, you see that I have one error. And it is that I'm not using table of content as part of my blog post. That's what we see in here. So if I end up adding table of content in my blog post, I may increase in SEO score. So to be able to add table of content in my website, I need to install a plugin. So to do that, I go over to plugins then I click on add new. And the search plugins, I search for table of contents. I have easy table of contents right here by Stephen A. Zam. This is the plugin I'm going to install. You get several others, but I'll go ahead and install this. So I click on install now. And I go ahead and activate. The plugin is activated successfully. Now if I go to the front end of my website, and I'll set for that particular blog post. So I have home based. I just go ahead and click on the blog post and scroll down. You wouldn't see table of contents anywhere on the page. So what I'm going to do is I go back to plugins and I search for easy table of contents. I click on settings. Going down to auto insert. I'm going to insert it for post. Then I scroll down to the end and click on save changes. Now if I go to the front end and refresh. Scrolling down, you see that I have table of contents here now and it has all the header tags I have on my website. Perfect. At the moment, the table of content is centered on the page. If I want it to stretch across the entire page, I go back to the settings, then I scroll down to appearance. You see that the width is currently set to auto. I'll drop down the arrow and I'll choose 100%. Scroll down, then I click on save changes. So if I go to the front end and refresh, you see that my table of content will stretch to the whole width of the page. So if I click on any of these headings, so if I click on any of these headings, it will take me quickly to the particular section. There are more settings you can go ahead and do with the plugin. First of all, you can deal with the position. Where do you want to see your table of contents? Currently, it is set to before first heading, you can choose after first heading, top or bottom. I'll keep it as default. You can also decide to display the table of content when you have a particular number of headings on your blog post. So currently it is set to four. If you don't want to display the header title, you can switch it off from here. The header title is what we see here, that is table of contents. And if you want to change the label, this way you can do that. So these are some examples you can take inspiration from. There are a whole lot of settings you can do. So you can go ahead and mess with them at your own time. You can work on colors and minimal. Now if I go back to the front end of my website and edit my blog post, you see that my SEO score has increased from 81 to 83. And this is good for search engine optimization. Now if I go down, to content readability, you see that all is good now. So you see that I now have table of content as part of my blog post. So that's it on how to add table of contents in WordPress. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, 
subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.